What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Jay from KVTV. And we're gonna be doing a quick look at this guy right here. Let's see if it'll focus. Will it focus? There it goes. The dang right there. Look at that. Oh yeah. Um so yeah, we're gonna do a quickie look and all that top down and all that kind of thing, and then we will come back up here and talk some pros and cons. But first, advocacy. Um be on top of things be aware know what's going on around you know what is uh what laws are being imposed on you that you do not care to deal with honestly it's a very simple thing we are in an election year um a lot of things will change come this time next year you know and all that kind of thing come january 1st of next year and we need to be able to know who is against what who is for what who is doing what and you know it's one of those things like if you're a single issue voter fine cool you know vaping all right do it do it but do know like if you're more of a different things affect you kind of person then do be aware of who's voting for what and doing what and what their stance is on who and where and why you know all that kind of thing because all these things do affect our day-to-day -day, you know i mean for the most part we just kind of live the day-to-day -day, but you know some of these things will affect us one way or another all right so do be aware of what's going on around you and who um uh, who you're voting for, who you're putting in power and all that kind of thing. Um, yes, they are public servants and they are meant to serve us as people. But you got to remember that they do have their own agenda that they go into whatever office they take. Uh, so those are things that you got to be very aware of. All right. So you don't have to do everything, but at least do something. Uh, all righty. Let's go into the top down and I'll catch you guys back up here. <laughs> All right, guys, so here it is. This is the dang from uh, Omboy OC Twisted Messes right there. Look at that. And just black packaging all over the place. Dang. And there you go, stainless. And that does have a color indicator here. All right, so this is what comes in here. You get this little tool right here. Flathead, Phillips, Allen key. Nice. And you get some O-rings and your squonk pin or solid state pin, which everyone, you know, you're not using. Like right now, I'm actually using it as squonk. It originally comes with this guy on there, so do be aware of that fact. All right, let's see. And here we got the top cap. This is the airflow on here. It does have like two different style of settings. Let me see. I'm going to get this focused. Right, you do get two different airflow settings this one is where this one is top like this and then it does like a actually no never mind so yeah <laughs> it just has this where like it has the top open and the full open and then just the bottom and same goes on the other side I'm gonna show you here and then you got a uh, little tiny holes right there so let me see if it visually shows here. There you go. Look at that. Okay, so this is fully open. And honestly, if you look at this right here, this actually matches it up to where it's in the middle. It actually has it fully open, and then you bring it back to this guy. And that would actually have it fully closed on the bottom. And if you bring it to this guy, it's fully closed on the top. All right, so there you go. And then, you know, you could just adjust it to however you want. And, you know, standard. What happens on one side happens on the other. All right, so there you go. Let's get the this sucker out of here. It does come apart like this in the packaging. All right, so go right here, put it on the handy dandy Warlock's Guardian. All right, so comes it does come with the post close. Just be aware of that. 
And with this tool, you put the Allen key right in here. And you start opening it up. And there you go. Look at that. And then that's fully open. That's fully open. And then you just pop your coils in here. You know, they go this way. Show you at least with one of the coils I have. And mostly I'm just recycling these coils because... I really like these coils and a good friend of mine sent them and honestly it is one of those things all right so then you were just tighten those clamps right there and there you go look at that that's how they just kind of pop into place I think I need to adjust it There you go. And that's basically how you build this guy up. Uh, I'm going to finish the build on this, and then we'll go up top, do some pros and cons, and I'll catch put you guys up there. All right, see you here in a bit. All right, so that was the dang up close and personal. Um, I will say, as far as build decks go, you couldn't get any more simpler. I mean, there is just two clamps. They open up, they close back up. Very, very, sing very, very simple, honestly. Um, massive space for big coils. I really like. I really wish I had had some frame staples to put in this sucker. But I mean, look at that. Those beautiful aliens from Breeze Tone coils. I forgot to mention him in the top down. But the reason I reuse these is because Breeze Tones. Uh, Adam actually sent this to us to the Omis. He hooked it up. He was a cool dude. Go check him out. Dude makes some amazing coils all the way from Australia. And the fact that he's still doing this with all the bullshit they got going on over there is amazing. And I'm very appreciative of the guy. Uh, go check out the three amigos. Was it no amigos and company nowadays? Um, I know they they do all their advocacy talk and you know it's one of those things that you get like also the international viewpoint because it's one thing when you're talking about here in the states and how we're affected directly by all the stupid shit that's going on but when you start looking at into the grand scheme of internationally i mean when we had oj mods on the omis he started talking about that mexico looks at the u.s and goes fuck it we're gonna ban it all right away before it even gets to that point you know it's one of those things that we do affect everybody. Sorry, going go to the advocacy talk, but yeah, <laughs> let's get back into the whole review bit. Um, like I was saying, airflow, it's a very, very easy airflow right there. It's just a couple of holes, and then that whole system right there where it closes down, opens up, and then it does the bottom part. Very, very, very easy airflow. Like I was saying, you match those notches up, though, you're very dead center. If you're wanting just for, like, a dead center thing, that puts you right in the middle. Uh, let me show you some cloud action here. Look at that. Very, very, very cloudy. Very flavorful. Honestly, I've been rocking this thing uh, bottom open. Uh, and I, I liked it like that. Honestly, I was enjoying it like that. And I was like, you know what? Let, let's give it a try with a top, like full open and see how that goes. Cause when I first got it, I really thought it was going to be very airy and I wasn't going to like it. And I, I really just thought it was too much air, but now that I have it going again, like got it going, uh, like gotten some time with it and used it, tried giving it that shot at just, uh, full open air. And I still amazing flavor bigger clouds all that kind of thing you know what you're looking for in a rda here i have it with the with the bottom 
or yeah, bottom open. Let's see if it'll show you right there. It's being a pain in the ass. Either way, it, uh, it's just bottom airflow. Check this out. It's still very cloudy. Lots of flavor. It actually makes it a lot warmer. If you're looking for a more warmer vape, try to keep that bottom part open. Because it makes the coil, makes the air go directly into the coils underneath like that instead of just directly pounding it like on both sides. Yeah, I just said pounding it on both sides on the internet. And, um, you know, if you, uh, top airflow, I don't know. I was not really a big fan of the top airflow. I feel like it just grazes the coils on the top, especially for as low as I built the coils down and all that. I know like if you go check out, uh, oh boy, OC's, uh, channel, he does have like a show and tell on the device itself. So you can go check out how he built it. Honestly, I just kind of go into these products blind because I want to build them, see if they work my way or if I got to figure out like certain adjustments and this and that. And it's one of those things, but here goes just top airflow. will say that got a lot louder a lot wushier and the flavor just dropped completely it's very muted i don't know check this out just very muted very muted i don't know here let me i actually have two of the top caps i have the stainless steel that came with it and i was fortunate enough to get a black top cap and i want to see if this is a top cap issue just pertaining to the stainless one or is it just a in general type thing here let's see uh no there we go close up have it closed up right there got juice all over it all right here we go yeah both of them make that whooshy sound that is horrifying honestly i didn't want, i do not like that so like i was saying i really didn't like just the top part of the airflow open and the bottom closed bottom open top closed perfect fully open perfect other than that you know i really uh negatives i really don't really have many uh i will say like it is a little nitpicky on what eight ten drip tips i could get in there for some reason like there were some that just like they fall off really easily like i couldn't do this with another one that i had and i was like okay i don't know what that's about maybe the o-ring just needs to be changed out i don't know if the resistances are right like this guy is a press fit as you can see so I don't know if that's what the problem is. The one that comes with it is just this little guy right here. So, you know, I just, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a fan of Ultim, so that Ultim look just does not really play very well with me. But other than that, really digging it, really liking this RDA. Like it still has that wishiness, but it's not as bad. It's not like full on, you know. I'm not going to try to recreate that again. <laughs> Alrighty. So like I was saying, um, it's one of those things. Seriously, pick one up, be part of the dang gang. Honestly, it's a really good RDA. I really enjoyed it. And for some reason, I just got the hankering to squonk it. And I'm not the kind of guy that gets these kind of RDAs and goes, Oh, I need to squonk it. Uh, if you see my videos, I'm like it squonking is just a thing that is expected nowadays. It always wasn't. So, it's a dripper, then you fucking drip it. Uh, there are certain RDAs that they just work better squonk, but this it works great squonk, it works great dripped. Honestly, either way, I, I like it. We'll say on the squonking portion, you do got to kind of press that bottle a little extra hard to get it to go all the way up there and get all get it all nice and juicy, as it were. Sorry, being distracted by cars. All right, so, uh, yeah, uh, you know, go check it out and try it out for yourself. See what you think. Uh, other than that, uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, go check out Vaping with the Omis on the Vaping with the Omis channel. Link down below. Uh, come back here on Wednesdays at 3.30, 4 o'clock-ish for the Wolf Bite. And then come back on Thursdays for the vlog at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. All the time zones, I, all the times I just gave you are in the Central Standard Time Zone, CST. So please adjust for what your time zone you're in. Um, 
you guys want any merch go check out teespring link down below and if you are looking for coils juice link down below go check out the google form if i haven't posted yet because i'm that stupid go check out the instagram and they there is a link there for sure because i know i've done that much so far all right so thank you for joining me as always vape on mix on